This is WSWA TV. And welcome to the 73rd annual WSWA Convention and Exposition in Las Vegas. I'm Meredith May, the publisher and editorial director for the Tasting Panel, the Psalm Journal, and the Clever Root magazines. And it's my honor to introduce actor, film producer, and as we all know, dancer, <laughs> Channing Tatum, and Hello. Larry Vincent, brand director for what is going to be a very exciting new launch. Welcome, Channing and Thank Larry. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, you've been in, uh, in the other part of the industry. We call our industry the glamour industry. <laughs> <laughs> well, getting to see what you guys do every day, it, it looks a lot more glamorous than, than what we do sometimes. I got to go through walls and, uh, and, and work on sets for, for hours and hours. And looks like to me, you guys just sit around and drink a lot of amazing booze. <laughs> yeah, and we only have one take. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your new brand. Uh, Born and Bread. Um, we, uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, a, a buddy of mine, we're just sitting and we were partaking in the spirits and uh, we just kind of, we're like, why isn't there a really amazing American vodka? All the vodkas that we were drinking come from some foreign European Russian place and, and there were there were some small, I think Tito's was, you know, starting to grow back around then and, and, uh, and we just decided to go search out one of the best American distilleries in, in the States and we found it and that's Grand Teton uh, Distilleries and made a partnership with them. Grand Teton is a great distillery. It's a craft artisan distillery in mm -hmm. Idaho yep. uh, where the sun keeps shining and the water is pure. Yep, glacier water. That's right. So, and it's made from Idaho potatoes. Idaho yeah. potatoes. What a, it just fits. And I tasted the vodka and it has a beautiful nose, kind of a, we're getting a little minerality and vanilla. I know it's charcoal filtered you mentioned. Yep. Uh, 20 times distilled I believe. If I'm, that's correct. <laughs> that's, correct. that's that's labor intensive, Good. and it's the, the palate is really really wonderful. It's soft. It's got a little bit of vanilla going on, a little bit of anise on the back. I mean, we do taste a lot of vodkas. The market is also flooded, like you were mentioning. It's from vodkas with from all over the world, uh, a few in the states. So how how is this going to stand out? What are your plans for making this brand really going to pop? Well, first off, quality. Uh, Grand Teton Distillery won a, got a plethora of awards, and I've I've put these this vodka specifically against other vodkas that I've drank in the past. This is the only vodka that I can drink right out of the bottle without ice, without any lemon, without anything else, and that's how I drink it. Uh, and now I, I some of those other European vodkas, if I drink it, it burns my throat, and it's uh, it's I mean, and I've been drinking vodka for a long time, so it's not I'm not new at it, and. This just feels like damn smooth craft, and that's what we've labeled it as. Well, the craft movement is what's happening. That's the trend. Mm -hmm. The mass-produced vodkas are not aligning with today's mixologists. Right. And speaking of mixologists, do you do you work with any special signature cocktails? I think we're going to go in that direction, but uh, we right have now one I, that's I like drinking here today. Yeah. yeah, we have one called the Local Legend. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Uh, it has Benedictine and a couple of secret ingredients that is kind of plays to the outdoor lifestyle that we've built around the brand. I think because the, the vodka it has a, more of a masculine palate, uh, I think it will really gr go great with bitters and savory ingredients. And right. I would love to take it around and kind of challenge some mixologists to do some I would really, do that with you. <laughs> now that would be fun. You heard that here on WSWA TV. So this is a little bit apart from what you normally do in the Hollywood, mm -hmm. Hollywood land. Uh, we're we're in our, our own world here. Have you made a lot of appearances with distributors and the marketing folks? No, that's specifically what we're here for uh, today. I mean, um, stories and movies is obviously what I do, and and that was another, I, I think, huge reason why I wanted to, I guess, jump in because I, I don't. All the rest of the vodkas, no matter where they're from, they weren't telling a story or like a lifestyle that I think I live and my friends and I that, that actually drink vodka live. I probably wear a, a suit or a tuxedo more than the average person and I still don't wear it all that often. And you know, when I see these, these brands that have to be in these formal, like sort of James Bondy type of a atmosphere, that's just not how I live my life. You right. know, so so Warren and Bread isn't about shaken and stirred. <laughs> it's exactly more, that. It's more about down home and that's the name itself. So yeah. tell me how you 
came to the name? Casual, I mean, born and bred is very American. I'm obsessed with, uh, like, you know, the archetypical trickster. Uh, you know, I grew up in the South. And I had a, a father that would tell the most amazing stories that, you know, just felt larger than life and because he, he was. And I don't know, I've always been just kind of obsessed with, with myth and, and how to build how to build stories around community and you know every every time you go out with your friends and you have like that epic night there's always one story that comes out of it and and those kind of roll into these like urban legends and urban myths and and that's really kind of the idea around the story and our little guy the jackalope here is a uh, is a you know he's a mythical creature that that I think is is just a perfect example of of uh, you know when friends start getting together and have a good time and start telling tall tales that might not be so tall sometimes, uh, you know, that's kind of what come out of it. Well, the whole again, design of the brand was actually to bring out that, that sense of the storytelling, being around the neighborhoods that live all around the U.S. Uh, you know, we really wanted this to be an American brand that felt like something you could drink with friends and didn't need to get rest, dressed up to do. Well, we invite our readers to tell their stories. Every bottle has a story. And if we didn't have that platform, of course, we wouldn't have magazines going out to 90,000 industry people a month, and you're going out to probably millions of people through your social media, through your, you know, who you are and, and where you go. So, are you going to have this at parties, or are you going to take it to industry events? Where where are we going to see it? Beside in uh, hopefully in time uh, in your local store at bars. I mean, they will be at industry events. Um, you know, but we definitely want to start small. We're, we're not trying to fly by night and just. Uh, blow this off in some big glitzy thing. Uh, we chose a family-owned distillery for a reason and because I, I believe in those values and, and growing it from a really grassroots, honest way and, and let the product speak for itself and just start telling an honest story of ours and, and seeing who, uh, who kins to it. And we hope in the future as we, as we roll this out, through social media that we will get to hear a lot of our fellow drinkers' stories as well, make that part of our customer base yep. and build a little community. We want people to feel this is their brand. I think that's wonderful. Uh, I think that's the trend. I think you're going to what's most appealing to anybody in any, I mean, whether it's coffee, tea, vodka, whatever we're eating and drinking, it's, it's about socializing. It's about making the right products that are true to nature. Yeah, and true to family and friends and you know, something you can share together. And you're into healthy yeah. products. Very much. So. It's gluten-free, uh, potato-based, so I go. mean, uh, any CrossFitters out there, that's a, a calories, vodka, that, that whole thing. Um, so it's definitely in line with me there, but, you know, most of all, it just tastes amazing. I mean, I, I gotta, I I gotta just be, like, if, I'm not a, I'm not a connoisseur by any means, uh, but, I, I mean, it's truly what I drink every single day. I mean, I, I, I really, I, I, I'm an equal opportunity spirits man, uh, but, but vodka and this vodka specifically, born bread. Well, congratulations. This is a great launch, born and bred vodka from Grand Teton Distillery in Idaho. This is this is artisan at its best. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you very much. And it's so nice Cheers. to have thank you here. You nice thank you so thank much. You. And thank you for joining us on WSWA TV. We'll be back with more.